everyone. Welcome back to Cooking with Verna. Today, I'm going to show you how I make my saltfish fritters. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get started. Here, I'm going to show you the seasoning I'm using. Right here, I have some garlic. I'm going to put a touch a bit of garlic in it. Maybe like a teaspoonful of garlic. I have some all-purpose seasoning, a touch of that to give it an extra taste. And then I have a half a teaspoonful of black pepper. Here I have a quarter teaspoonful of turmeric, just to give it that color. And I have some baking powder, a half a teaspoonful of baking powder. And here I have some yeast, about a half a teaspoonful of yeast. And right here I have my fresh seasoning. I have some green spring onions. I have a small um, diced white onions. And I have some bell peppers. I have the red, I have orange, and I have yellow. You can use whatever color you want. You have a choice. And here, I have two pounds of saltfish. I choose to use this type of saltfish because it doesn't have any bones in it. And I'm using the actual pollock saltfish. You can use the cod you want. But try not to use the one with the bones because you have to sit down and take the bones out. And I'll show you why when I get along. And now I have about three cups of all-purpose flour. And I'll show you the process as I move on. Well, guys, here's my saltfish. Before I do this, I boil it for about 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to break well, it guys, down. Here's my saltfish. I boil my saltfish for 20 minutes. Once the 20 minutes is up, I pour that water off and then I washed it or rinse it off for, with two sets of cold water so that would cool it down. And then I sit it on the side and cool it down because you don't want to mix your other ingredients with it while it's hot. So now I'm going to go ahead and break the saltfish down into smaller pieces. Just like so. It's not hard. It's an easy procedure. You see, it's boiled, so it's easy to break up. And you can break it up in whatever size you want it in. I don't want it too big, and I don't want it too small. So when you bite into the saltfish fritters, you're tasting some saltfish. Just like so. And it smells good, too. There's no seasoning on it yet, but... It smells good. You'll enjoy the procedure. Like so. When I was a little girl in the islands, I remember my mom used to do stew saltfish and johnny cake or fried dumpling for Sunday breakfast before we go to church. We had a full stomach. Just like so. And back in the days, I remember how good it was. No one can cook it like my mama. There we go. Okay, just like so. So I think we've done this right now. Okay, now my pot is hot. I'm going to add just a dash of oil. So I can saute my vegetables. A little bit more. About that much. Here I have my... Bell peppers, I'm going to go ahead and add my bell peppers, red, orange, and yellow. Now I have my onions. Just want to salt it even. And of course, my green pepper. The green onion. I'm going to salt it with some more. Just like so. Don't have this pre cook, not all the way, somewhat. Just like so. And then I'm going to add a touch of garlic to this ingredient. Maybe like a half a teaspoonful of garlic. Just to give it that extra taste. And a bit of my all-purpose seasoning, just like that, just like so. 
You don't need too much seasoning now. Remember we're doing salty fritters. Doesn't that look good? So pretty with the colors. And I know it's gonna taste good once I'm finished. Wow, it smells good too. Wow, look at it. Mm-hmm. For about five minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this in. All right, now I've cooked this for about five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add the beautiful saltfish to my seasoning. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, look at that saltfish. Doesn't that look pretty to you? It smells really, really delicious. You know, I can make a sandwich out of this right now. With the ingredients and the sausage. Whoa. Look at all the sausage in there. So when I eat my fritters, not only I'm eating the batter, I'm tasting some sausage. Look at that. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Let's get all of this in there. If you guys were right here, you probably already have some bread on the side to make a sandwich. It smells good and it looks delicious. Let's mix this in. Whoa. I'm telling you the color, the smell of it, it's just beautiful. Beautiful, delicious, looking really good, and smells good. Mm -mm -mm. Just like so, mix this in. You're not trying to cook the salt, you're just trying to blend the seasoning, the green seasoning, the bell pepper, the onion, everything in with it. Now we're looking for taste, just like so. Whoa, that is looking beautiful. Now this is done. My goodness, if you hear the smell of this, you say, Verna, let me have some in the plate to make a sandwich. It smells good, so this is done. I'm going to leave this to cool off and then I'm going to go right behind me and mix my flour with the ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and add my seasoning to my flour. Black pepper, turmeric, baking powder, and my yeast. And stir this up just like so. Blend it in together just like so. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my salt fish. It actually has cooled down. So I'm going to add my salt fish to the flour and mix it in. Trying to find or get that good consistency. Let's mix this in first. Oh wow, that looks good. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Looks good. Just like so. Let's add the rest of the salt fish. Like that. Mm hmm Y'all try this sometime. The straightforward procedure. And it's a quick procedure. Let's mix this in. Just like so. Mm-hmm. Wow, doesn't that look good? Look at it. 
Just add the rest of the salt fish. And then I'm going to mix it in with some water. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. Continue to mix this in. Then I'm going to add the water. Blend it together. You see the salt fish still there? Hasn't mixed in yet. I'm trying to get it in there. Some people use their hands, like they're making Johnny cake, but I'm going to use my spoon and be patient. Just like that. Just like so. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and add my water. I have two cups of water here. I don't want it too wet. and I don't want it too dry. Mix that in. Wow, look at it. Mm -hmm. If you feel that you need more flour, you can add a little bit more flour. If you need more water, you can add a bit more water. Just like so. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I'm going to add a little, little bit more water. Let's see. Let's see if this is enough. Mix it in. Mix it all in. It smells good to people. Just like so. Get all the flour from around the bowl, from the bottom of the bowl. Mm-hmm. Smells good. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more water. Remember I told you I had two cups of water? So let's add a little bit more of this. Not too much. Just want to get it blending together. I don't want it too dry. I don't want it too wet. Mm -hmm. It looks like what I'm looking for now. Look at it. Okay. Yeah. So mix it in like so. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the right consistency right there. Look at it. Whoa. Looks good. So now I think this is done. This is good right here. Okay. Look at that. All right. Okay. Once your pan is hot, you go ahead and pour your oil in. Pour what you think you need. I'll say about a cup and a half. I'm going to let the oil get hot. Then I start my process. So now I'm going to go ahead and spoon my salt fish out. Just like so. Mm-hmm. Hear that? Be careful not to put them too close because you don't want them on each other. You want them to fry nicely. And I'm going to leave them on this side for about four to five minutes. And you'll see when they start browning on the side. Just like so. Mm -hmm. I get another one in there right here. Okay. I'm not going to put any more in right now. I'm going to let it cook. Then I say five minutes. And once it's brown on that side, I just turn it over. Get the other side brown for another five minutes. Just like so. Uh-huh. Looks like it's browning on that side for another five minutes, as I say. Okay. Just like so. 
You can always turn it back over if it's not brown enough. Mm hmm Okay, color looking good. Looking good, looking good. Mm-hmm, just like so. All right now. Okay. Let's go ahead and take my salvage, put this out. Nice color, right? Look at it, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> nice color over here i have a plate with some paper towel to absorb the excess oil mm -hmm. so you don't want too much oil right just like so that one doesn't want to go in the plate huh okay here we go whoa smells good and it looks good Let me go ahead and add my sawfish flavors to the oil, just like so. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Just like so. Leave it on this side for about five minutes. When it's nice and brown on that side, give it that gold color. We turn it over to the other side for another five minutes. Four to five minutes. You look at the side and you see it's brown, so you know when to turn it. and turn these bad boys over. This is the color I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. Just like so. Okay, this one doesn't want to turn. Uh, okay, like that. Just like that. Okay, this one is okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. does not want it to, okay come back to you let's turn this one let's go back to this bad boy okay colors are beautiful don't you think beautiful colors nice and brown nice gold color okay, let's go ahead and check these uh-huh it's time to come out you don't want to burn your saltfish platters, saltfish cake, whatever you call them. You don't want to burn them. You just want a nice brown color. Just like so. And you know, depending on how big you're making them, that's the amount of time you give them. I know I said four to five minutes, but depending on how big they are, you probably only need to give them three minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my last batch. Just like so. And then I'll come back to you when they're done. All right, guys, my saltish flitters are done. Look at the color, beautiful, beautiful. This is what I was actually looking for. Um, let me just go ahead and tear one open so you can see what I'm talking about. Doesn't that look good? Mm, mm, mm. If you like this, try it at home. It's not hard. Try it at home and let me know what you think. Comment and let me know. Thank you for watching Cooking with Laverna. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. God bless you. See you in the next video.